In this video, we're going to be looking at one of the new functions in Carlson 2012 for point clouds. With 2012, we've added the ability to import and export grid files into point cloud. So let's see how this works. I've got a project open. I've created a scene from the cloud. So here's my cloud. Here's the scene file. And we are viewing that scene on screen. We'll move to the action tab and go straight down to our create panel and select grid. That puts us in the grid creation mode and we simply come over and pick the first and second corner of the area we want to create a grid for. We can create new grids or overwrite existing grids. In this case we'll do a brand new grid. We have information about coordinates that we selected for our corners and the overall size. This is useful as we move further down and look at how we're going to create the grid. The resolution of the grid can be built either on a specific number of cells in both the X and Y direction or it can be based on the cell dimensions. They do not need to be uh, uniform necessarily. So I could do uh, 50 cells in the X direction and 100 cells in the Y direction or I can have cells that are a 50 by 100 in size. Ultimately, we also report out to you the number of cells being created. Once you have these selected, click the green check mark and our grid is created. You can see the grid displayed here. You'll notice I'm still being prompted to pick the first corner point. So I could create a series of grids or if I don't like this one, redo it. I need to click the end mode so I'm no longer in grid creation and now we can rotate this and zoom in a little bit. For this particular site we want to use some pretty good vertical exaggeration to see the relief. And now you can see that grid laying on top of our points. With the grid created we'll close our view and go back to our project tab. Under our grids heading in our tree we can see our grid 1 is here. If we right click on that we have options to create clouds or meshes from our grid. We can remove the grid or rename it. Create a view of just the grid. Draw the grid in CAD. Or review the properties. These are all standard options for many of the objects that you create in the tree. So if we export this grid, it's exported as a GRD file. And we'll just call this grid. It's going out to our project folder here. We'll save that. Main reason for doing that is if we go back into CAD and load up Survey or Civil, we can go to our View menu, Surface 3D Viewer, which will view grid files for us. And we can now open our grid in the viewer, add to our vertical exaggeration, We'll color this by elevation. And now we can see the relief in our grid. See our high point over there. And we can exit out. If we choose to draw the grid in CAD, we simply tell it what layer we want it to go to and we can create a new layer for that. And then in CAD simply zoom extents and view the grid and that grid can be viewed using the 3D viewer window. And again color it by elevation. We'll brighten it up here so it's a little easier to see. Vertically exaggerate it. And so now we can see the grid in 3D. So both using the draw function or the export function brings your grid into the CAD world. Now the other option is to bring a grid into Point Cloud from the CAD world. So here what we would do is go in and say we want to import a grid. 
I'm not going to import the grid I just created. I'm going to browse out and I should have another grid here that we can bring in. Simple GRD file. GRD files are commonly created with our mining software. Uh, utilized there as, as well as some of our other modules will create grids. And now that grid has been imported so we can double click that to create a scene of our new grid and there's our new grid. We'll vertically exaggerate this a little bit and rotate it and we can view our grid and this as you can see is an open pit mining area and you can see all the little grid squares. So now this information is available to use within our point cloud software for additional design applications. If you have additional questions about importing or exporting grid files from point cloud, feel free to contact Carlson Software. Thank you.